So Casey, how many how many Trumpy bears did you buy? <laughs> Bought a thousand Trumpy bears, dude. <laughs> it seems like when you're watching that infomercial, it's not, it seems like so much like a John Oliver thing, but it's, it's or, literally or like not. an SNL sketch or anything else than a real commercial. <laughs> My, God, I feel like it is. I feel yeah. like I'm gonna watch John Oliver on Sunday, and he's gonna fucking come out with that shit. And, and like the the bear is the bear itself. Like fine, there's like uh, Dylan Goodfriend commented on on my on my I just I posted the video on Facebook, and he's like, yeah, there's a there's a Bernie bear too. I'm like, yeah, the bear itself, like whatever, like it is what it is. Like you know, they make bears for everything. You go to build a bear and build anything you want. The Bernie bear is kind of cute, no problem with it. It's the fact that two things: one, the fact that you unzip his back and an American flag blank. <laughs> it comes out That's to wrap yourself up in and two it's just I, i'm not even talking about the bear it's the commercial it's the fact oh, that yeah, this is a legitimate serious commercial and that it, it's like a it's a parody of itself it's like the storm is coming <laughs> the storm is coming is <laughs> the, the storm first thing is you coming hear. get ready for the storm <laughs> I am the storm. It, it's like, it's Great got, American Grizzly. It's got it hanging like, from a fucking. Like, it's hanging from a flagpole. <laughs> that's literally how the commercial goes. It goes from that to Great American Grizzly. I was just like, where yeah. is this going? It's America, and then, like, dude. The fireworks go off. I was just like, this has to be a meme. It's it's hilarious to it's me that it's not. Unless things. unless like it's one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Unless the bear was made sarcastically, it was made by a group of like Democrats or something that were just like, this is gonna be hilarious. Let's make the most over the top thing we can think of. And then they made the the commercial as a parody and like all yeah, the like, Republicans like a, love it. It seems like a John Oliver <laughs> stunt type thing. Like like that's the fucking guy that's riding around with it. He call, calls even, it his brother, and he's riding around with it in his motorcycle. <laughs> just even yeah, even the things that they do, like how you can unzip the back and take the American flag yeah. out, and it's like it's insane. like <laughs> then you can wrap yourself up in it. It's like it's the funniest <laughs> shit. Uh, if you go like, you... and just like how it shows like the bear wrapped up in the flag, hugging the American flag. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've no, ever seen. There's nothing seen. more American than that, man. I don't know how. <laughs> um, if you don't know what we're talking about, uh, there is a commercial that I just saw on TV this morning during an episode of Parks and Recreation. So, I mean, this is just it was regular ass TV, just just live cable TV, just watching it. And this commercial came on with uh, something called a Trumpy Bear, and it does it does some great things, and it's a great commercial. Honestly. It if, the, if that commercial is that funny, I want to see the Bernie Bear commercial. <laughs> I'm not sure there is one. So there's this company in Vermont that just like is like the Vermont Bear Company or something. It just makes bears, and obviously Bernie's from Vermont, and oh. that's to, that they just make a Bernie Bear. Also, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, then. there's this no makes, like ridiculous commercial no about sense. it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like Trump, this makes no sense. And if you are considering buying it, just know that you do get a certificate of authenticity if you do purchase it. It's only two uh, payments of nineteen ninety nine. At this point, I feel like I'm just selling it, which I kind of am. <laughs> I kind of am. If you're the type of person that this is what you want in your home, then just like you know, send it. Go for it. Send her. Just go send for her. it. Tender. What the the first comment you got on that was they sell a Bernie Bear too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. What's up, everyone? And welcome to episode 40 of The Morning Brew with Corey and Casey. We are recording this podcast live bright and early over at twitch.tv slash RSMRY Media. And today is Sunday, February 9th, which is National Toothache Day. Have you ever had a, yeah, any sure. any memorable toothaches, Casey? <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I have like a wisdom tooth coming in. Uh-huh. On my bottom side, it's the only one that's like the only one that I have that has to come in, mm -hmm. and uh, it hurts pretty bad. Does it? See, I I have I'm pretty sure all my wisdom teeth are back there, but like I think there was just enough space in my mouth where they've never hurt. They're just kind of like they're yeah, not like can... fully out there. They're like covered by some gum and stuff too, but like I feel nothing. They're just they're just cool. Yeah, some people have enough room, but like I only have one growing in my. Because I got x-rays like, a few years back, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, they told me it was probably going to be a problem. It was going, it was going to be a problem that I should probably get out. And I was like, Nah, <laughs> I don't have the money for that. This is America. <laughs> yeah, Dent dentistry is a scam, dude. Yeah. Nobody needs it's their not, wisdom it's teeth not, out. <laughs> it's a billion dollars. So like, uh, yeah. 
I, I could get it out and feel better, but I'm not going to feel better when I got that $3,000 bill coming to, my, <laughs> coming to my house, you know? I, uh, the only thing I, time I ever remember having, like, so, like a the really, bo- uh... The bottom, my bottom row of teeth, just sometimes it feels like, uh, feels like they're all, like, pushing together, because, like, the p- tooth is just, like... Oh, yeah. It, it's, like, pushing my teeth, yeah. It's, it's just, like, like make, make room teeth. for me. <laughs> make room for this one. <laughs> It's like a bunch of people in a pool, and like and like another one just trying yeah, to just trying to big, belly flop in the middle boy of it. Gets in. <laughs> yeah, like, just I trying to belly flop boy. in the center of everybody. Um, <laughs> no, the only time I ever remember having like a pain in my mouth like that, I was chewing on a pen cap at one time, and like it just like it slipped in my mouth and just jagged down right on my on my gum back there, and it hurt so bad I couldn't sleep for like two days. I was popping like four a leave a day. Like I think I have stomach problems now because I took so much a leave in those couple days that I just <laughs> tore up the lining in my stomach. It's very possible. Um, that's anyways, lot. that's a lot of a leave. <laughs> it's too much. You should have like one a day. Like I told Megan that one time. I was like, yeah. I mean, at one point, I, I when I made my my tooth hurt really bad, I had like you know I was took like five a day, maybe like three the next day, and she's like, you should have like one a day. Like that. That's too much. When back yeah. in the day, I also remembered like sometimes when I would have headaches, some I had a throat problem a few years back, and I had a th- a thousand milligram ibuprofen. Right. So I yeah. thought that was Not the twice the, a day. I thought that was like what the appropriate amount was when you felt pain. So then all of a sudden I would like take these a leave and I'd be like, huh, 300 milligrams each. So I'd take three of them. So I'd get a headache and just take three a leave to get rid of the headache, not knowing that one would do the trick. So I, I pretty yeah. much, I think I'm pretty sure that I've ruined my own stomach uh, from taking too much a leave. I just want, I want to go back and tell 16 year old uh, Corey or however old, you, uh, whatever age you were that, uh, they have guidelines on the back of those bottles <laughs> for how much you should take and the time limit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And at that point, like, I'm pretty sure they were, like, migraines, not headaches. Like, I should have been taking something else other than a leave anyways. So it was just, you know, mistakes we knew we were something. making. It was something. Yeah. Hey, trust me, I've made a lot of mistakes. They weren't for with <laughs> over-the-counter medicine, but... Um, tomorrow, when this podcast goes live on YouTube and podcast services, it will be National Umbrella Day. Got any umbrella stories, Casey? <laughs> um, there was this one time... And uh, this is off the top of my head, too. I, had, I hadn't looked at these notes. Wow. But there was this one time... I was walking. It's weird how I came up with an umbrella story this fast. <laughs> Must be like, significant. Hey, Casey, Hey, Casey, what's your favorite music? I'm like, oh, I don't know. What's an umbrella story? <laughs> Got one. <laughs> we are at my buddy Chris's in Clayton. What the hell is that sound? Sound? I don't hear a sound. Oh, it was like a buzzing sound. Huh. I'm going crazy. I think so, um, dude. <laughs> but we were at my, my buddy Chris's and... uh and he lives in Clayton, like right by O'Brien's. Mm-hmm. Like he lives like right next to O'Brien's. Sounds awful. Keep going. And uh, so O'Brien's really has nothing to do with that. I was just kind of giving you a uh, like <laughs> just a sounds just sounds l- loud. Like they're you know, people up until three a.m. Sounds terrible. Of, co- of course. I would never want to live next to any bar. Nothing against O'Brien's. O'Brien's is great. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. But w- I walked out, and there's just like. I don't know where it came from, but like, do you know like the golf umbrellas, like the huge golf umbrellas? Yeah, yeah, I golf. I know, like gigantic umbrellas. Yeah, one was just opened. Nice, dude. like laying in the middle of the road. Nice, that's some horror movie shit. And I was just, was it like, windy? Look, it kind you probably of don't it remember. Was, <laughs> it was. I I want to say it was kind of windy. Windy, maybe like starting to rain, uh-huh. and. uh and like it was me and a buddy like two of my buddies were walking back to my place for some reason i'm like yeah dude i'm picking this motherfucker up and taking it home and i took it with me casey don't know what happened to don't have, know what happened to it have after you seen that. how i met your mother i have not seen how. so I mean, I, yeah i have but there's a whole thing with the with, with the yellow umbrella in that in that in that show and ted at one point he's leaving a bar and he grabs an umbrella and it was, and it wasn't his, but it was a yellow umbrella. And come to find out, the person whose umbrella he took ends up being the girl that he marries later on in the show. Like it was her yellow umbrella because they were both at the same party that night. Casey, that was your yellow umbrella. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should have hang, hang on to it, hanged on, hung onto it, 
and eventually that would have that would have led you to the to the woman you would eventually marry. Yeah, although if it's, I didn't. if it's anything like how I met your mother, though, after you marry her, you're gonna have kids, and then she's gonna get real sick and die. So yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yep. how it worked in that show. <laughs> So, so, uh, maybe it's in your so best interest. Give, yeah, so we could just give the uh, give the audience what they really wanted. Yeah. Um. Just <laughs> oh yeah yeah. Let 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 them end up with Robin. Fucking yeah. cop out. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh, I do own a yellow umbrella because of that show too. Because of course I do. Yeah. Yeah. Of course you do. Of course right. you do. All I right. Mean, Casey. How your mother wasn't bad. It yeah. really wasn't. I really I, mean, I really really enjoy that show. There's some seasons those, that aren't good. There's some episodes that comes, you know. Yeah, but like it was a little more than that. We're like sure it's a laugh track comedy and it was on CBS whatever, but it also like, you know, there's a lot of heart to it. They and, and some of it was genuinely funny. Like I really really love that show save for like a couple of seasons that kind of like made it like, oh, this show is an 8.5 to me and that brought it down to like, oh, it's a 7 overall. Um, yeah, it could have been it, like the first two seasons are fantastic. Oh, so good! Even yeah, the first really like good. few, like it, it, it keeps getting good, and then all of a sudden it just drops right off, and then like it gets back up again. Like the season that Marshall's dad dies, like that that's a that's a heavy season. That was a good one, and then like and then they do the whole thing in the end when Marshall. Yeah, and, you gotta love Jason Segel. Or, so good! I can't it? wait for his new show. I told you about his new show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dispatches from elsewhere, or whatever on AMC. I can't wait. I just see him as David Foster Wallace every time. Though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's hard not to. He played, he played the character to. too he well. Plays, he plays such a good. He does such a good job. Um, it's our 40th episode, so I looked up. I looked it up, Casey. In the red ruby is the traditional gift for a 40th anniversary. So let's talk about things that are red and named ruby. Do you remember uh, remember Pokemon Ruby? I don't remember Pokemon. <laughs> what is it? That was my question, that, though. No. Is I what remember Pokemon Red? But when not did ruby. you uh, When did you drop off Pokemon? Red and blue. Red and blue. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Like I kind of did too. Like I played red and blue, and then by the time like gold and silver were coming out, I was like, "Am I too old for this? Like, is this I, for kids?" Like, I don't think it was really the. I, I I didn't think I was too old. I just uh, I didn't. I only played like one generation of the Game Boy, uh-huh. and then I I was just like, I, I like the mobile games, but I was just a console guy. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, and they refused I, to be on consoles, so you just yeah, yeah, Makes sense. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I I kind of fell off around the same time, and then like I I would pick it back up, and I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna play, uh, I played black and white, I played um, X and Y, I played Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which are my two favorite. Dude, um, I sw- I swear to God, and correct me if I'm wrong. What game was it that did you you came in one of the midnight releases and got a fucking game when I was working at GameStop? Hmm. I swear to God, it was a Pokemon game. Um, I don't. It wouldn't have been Pokemon. That, that at that point, I wasn't playing any Pokemon games. I mean, I okay. I, I, I it might have been for Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but I bought that at FYE when I worked there, so it definitely wasn't that. Um, or you came in at like I like late. It was it wasn't midnight, but it was later. It was late at night when like we were gonna. It would have depend the when uh when when did you work there? From what I years? Don't... Jeez, I'm gonna have to rack my brain. <laughs> we'll talk about this later because I went to a lot of midnight releases there. Um, I mean, I, I was there for a Call of Duty uh four. I was there uh for uh probably uh Halo four. I was probably there um. I know I was there for one night where I bought like three games at once. It was Little Big Planet Three, Grand Theft Auto for PS4, and the new WWE game. They all came out on the same exact night, and it was the best night ever. Cause, and I don't remember what you were buying because I just remember it was just like you walked in, you're like, "Hey, buddy, how's it going?" And me thinking in my head, like, "I want to die." <laughs> <laughs> like, See, I, that's the, that's what I thought when I saw that fucking Trumpy Bear commercial this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can't muster up any more of the uh, like I can't recollect any more of the memory because that was my first initial thought. I was just like, Corey, please get me out of this situation, yeah. bud. Please get um, me out of this. And everyone's just going insane for the Pokemon, and you're like the only person that I know. And like you were like coming up to the counter to save me, and you're like, I'll take one copy. And I was like, No, dude, no, take me with you. <laughs> uh, remember Max and Ruby, the show on Nick Jr. Max and Ruby, yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple yeah, of bunny wonder. rabbits. Yeah, she was always just like a, she was always just like a bitch to Max. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, Max didn't really talk; he just kind of like did what she said, but also yeah, did. But, but honestly, 
like in her defense she was a little shit yeah he was a shithead like it was just a bad yeah. combination of people um yeah. what about uh the red ranger remember the red ranger pokemon I or know. fucking uh, power rangers the, uh, pokemon <laughs> pokemon red ranger um clifford <laughs> the big red dog he's red clifford, the big red dog he um, is red and uh, yeah. the last one i had was red from that 70s show the ultimate red. the ultimate father the ultimate father yeah it's just sticking foots Probably in people's the... asses of the worst father ever um <laughs> he was like the he was like a great father to hey, fucking hide he was tough but fair okay he was a great father to, to, to i think his name is is it Hyde? yeah yeah Stephen hyde yeah but he was terrible to eric oh yeah yeah, yeah. now always bought yeah. him a raincoat every year for christmas and here eric <laughs> eric eric just wanted an eight track for his uh for his car and you know also he wanted the uh he wanted the evil knievel stunt cycle and they bought it for him one year but red wanted to play with it the night before and he smashed it into the garage door and then it broke and then he didn't get his evil knievel stunt cycle he got a raincoat <laughs> 70 shows are my favorite shows of all time. Moving on. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> um, dude, there was one time I was, I was hanging out with this, uh, hanging out uh, <laughs> down was, the uh, street. Exactly. Um, I was down the street at a buddy's house mm -hmm. and, uh, you were doing the same <laughs> old things you did last week. Yeah. And we're all hanging out in the group and, uh, we're just talking and <laughs> were you in a circle? <laughs> We were kind of in a circle. In a basement. <laughs> um, and but they were talking. They were just having this like in-depth conversation about something, and like I spoke up out of nowhere and was just like said some random ass comment, and uh, and like dude looks at me, and he's like, dude, you're like hide from that seventy <laughs> show. And I just started dying laughing. And it was... runs on water, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's like um, literally what it was. It was like out of out of nowhere, I said a random comment, and everyone just looked at me like I made a joke, but no one understood the joke. They just looked at me like, "What the fuck? Who is this kid?" <laughs> uh, Casey, it was your birthday two days ago. Tell the people how old you are. Mm, Thirty-one years old. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for not being one of those people that's just like I'd rather not. I don't want it. Like I hate, I hate the whole thing. Like you never ask a woman her age. Like anybody can say how old they are. Nobody should be ashamed of how old they are. Like that's, I, I don't, I don't agree with any of that. Your age is your age. That's how. Old, that's just. It is what it is. You know. I was at, oh, at O'Brien. I was at O'Brien's this one time, and this girl was hitting on me, and she was like, "So how old are you?" And I was like, I told her my age, and I was like, "So how old are you?" And she just looked at me, and just walked away. I don't get it. I don't get I it, just, man. Like, don't be ashamed. I didn't, under, I didn't understand it until that moment. I mean, I didn't <laughs> like. I didn't know it was a thing until that oh, moment. Oh yeah, it is. Nobody I didn't even know. I, honestly, honestly, if you want to know my like so, level of social anxiety, I didn't even realize she was hitting on me until like <laughs> that moment too. Like I didn't realize like. Casey thought he afterwards. did something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like I literally was just like thought we were talking. Like, just as two people, and all of a sudden, like it like registered in my brain afterwards. <laughs> Oh, okay. You could have been worse. Like, you could have been like, uh, hey, how old are you? What the fuck is it to you? <laughs> it's none of your business. Yeah, she, she was like, polite. why? You don't, she was like, you don't ever ask a, a, a woman that and then just walked away. I was like, mm, okay, I learned something new today. <laughs> learned something new. You fucking, Casey's like pondering his brain. What can I ask? Like, can I ask what their name is? Is that offensive too? Do you, should you not <laughs> ask what a woman's name is? Dude, I'm what there. am I doing wrong? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm there at that point. You're just out smoking like at this point, you're smoking just, cigarettes. Yeah, you're out of you're Music out of Music is ideas. just going in the background. I'm just outside. People are shuffling by him, like just looking at the ground. <laughs> just cycling through all the thoughts. Um, so do you feel any And every time I'm at O'Brien's for some reason it's always raining, so it's just raining there. <laughs> do you uh maybe that maybe that was the girl with the umbrella, Casey? Yeah. I'm this probably. is the umbrella story, but yeah. you ruined it by asking how old she was. <laughs> trust me, trust me, if I have if I have one good trait in me, it's ruining conversations with women. <laughs> Man. This could have been the umbrella love story for the for the morning brew. Yeah, Casey Waltz and love stories, they don't mix. <laughs> what they're, was your uh what was your birthday candle wish, Casey? Um, your metaphorical one, I assume, at the ripe age of thirty-one, you didn't blow out a candle. My ripe age of thirty-one, probably. <laughs> to, uh... <sighs> I didn't blow out any candles. No, 
I don't know. I don't know what the wish is. World peace. Probably. Um, moving World on. World peace. <laughs> probably just probably just to go back to being young again because because feeling my feeling the pain in my body as <laughs> start creeping on is the worst thing. Yeah. I can only imagine at thirty five how it's gonna feel, <laughs> and then at forty. Um, I went snowboarding yesterday, Casey. Speaking of old age and, and bodies hurting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was, I mean, it was a good day. Like we went to, just went to Snow Ridge. Like it's a, it's a small small area. It's not very. Did you, uh, did you go all out? Did you wake up feeling a little sore in the morning? Well, mostly. So I was I, I was trying did to. You go, did I, you rip around like you do in steep? Yeah. See, I was trying. <laughs> I was trying to go a little harder than I should have. Like at the ripe age of 30, like I probably, you know, take it easy. Just go down the mountain, whatever. But there was like some jumps and I started to get a little risky and I, I tried to move myself over there and I like got caught up in some powdery shit. And you know how like it, it was, uh, there's, it snowed for a little while and then we got ice and then we got like a foot of snow on top of that. Yeah. So like I fell into the fluffy snow thinking I was going to be okay. Like kind of like one of those falls where like, you know, you're going to fall. So you just kind of take it. So like yeah. I accepted the fall put my knees down and went through the puffy snow and just bashed into the ice below it. So my left <laughs> knee is in rough shape this morning. Uh, yeah. There, there was a time when I was like, I was like probably 12, 12, 13, 12 years old, probably. And I got home from a friend's house and it had snowed so much. I swear to God, it was, there was so much snow. And uh, my family had just uh, got done shoveling. And there was this gigantic pile, and uh, and I, mm, if I didn't want to jump in that thing so hard, and it was like it was like you, or I thought it was gonna catch me, but it was a gigantic pile, and I went through the entire thing and smacked on the bottom, like on the ground, and like just got covered in it. Yeah, I was just like, and that's like when I when I uh, like. I, I had realized in, in my young life that not all snow catches you like in <laughs> like in the fucking movies, dude. Like it's yeah. the, you want it to, but it's not. It, I had to go out and uh, shovel the driveway. Not reliable. I had to go out and shovel the driveway yesterday, and I made like a you know I got that snow skate for Christmas, so I made like a sick little drop in from like this little hill in front of my in my front yard, and I, I just roll into the into the parking or my driveway. So I'm I'm I think the next step is I'm gonna build a ramp in the driveway. So I'm gonna drop in and like do some shovets and stuff. So I'll probably do, be doing this this podcast with a broken leg next week. <laughs> yeah, done, dude. Hundred percent. It's over for me. Uh, I also like when can, I was at least up. You in can the... kick the, like kick that board out and try to like land on your. Oh feet. yeah. Yeah, we're like with a snowboard. Like, if you try anything, you're fucking strapped in for the yeah. ride, buddy. Also, when I was up on the, uh, I was up on the chairlift yesterday, and I was like trying to. I had like these hot hands in my side of my gloves to stay warm because it was like zero degrees yesterday, and I was like trying to like maneuver one inside my glove. Fucking dropped my glove off the chairlift. <laughs> <laughs> fell right below me so i had to like race down like half the hill in hopes that like nobody saw it and like took it into lost and found or something and i got my glove it's all good it's all good it's all, all good, good. That, that, that would be me i'd fall off the chair <laughs> left dude. i wouldn't even get up the fucking mountain people hey you want to go snowboard and be like no no i do fucking not <laughs> No, um, dude, are you going to get me on that chairlift halfway up? I'm going to start having a fucking panic attack. Let's start with some TV stuff. Actually, to uh, Casey, I just got an update right now as I, as we were talking, and uh, Joker was on sale for $15 on Amazon, so I just bought the Blu-ray, so you can borrow that when it comes in. Okay, okay, good. Um, good. I, was, I was waiting for it. Yeah, yeah I was just, it kept being like $30 and wouldn't go on sale, but here we go, 15 half off. Got it. Um... Some TV stuff. Uh, did you watch anything new or out of the ordinary this week? Did you utilize that Hulu membership at all? No, I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> almost, yeah, yeah, I really have to get on top of that, honestly. <laughs> um, um, I was going to watch um, Horse Girl. Yeah, but, I was going uh, to also. Then I just kept on living my life, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually had a reason. The, uh, the internet went out for me. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't. Yeah, but, yesterday, uh, literally the entire time that I was at Snow Ridge, there was no internet at home. Like, I didn't notice it. There was no difference for me because I was gone. But, like, everybody else was going without internet for, like, seven hours. So. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't It wasn't all that long. It was only, like, five, maybe five hours. It was, like, 12 to f 
maybe five or six. Yeah, everyone was all up in arms about it, but it's like they were fucking do you, doing it. Do you not Dude. have hobbies? Like, do you not have things that you can do without the internet? <laughs> the, the amount of people I heard talking about how the internet, like, like, uh, you know, what happened when the internet went down for me. I honestly got some pretty good sleep. Yeah, I. It's just like also like you can or play games right that aren't online. Played. You I can. Started, I started outlining. I started outlining and did a little bit of writing. Mm-hmm. Like so I was like. I have to turn off this PlayStation now. And like, it was like taking in the needle out of my fucking arm. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> I mean, I guess businesses, like they're the ones that really had to deal with it because they couldn't do any like credit card transactions or anything. That was pretty terrible. But um, like, yeah, you know what? You know what? Fuck you, businesses. <laughs> <laughs> Casey, okay, I watched the uh, I watched the uh, premiere of Lego yeah, Masters. I, I Lego watched Masters, the pr huh? premiere of Lego Masters uh, uh, this week, and I swear to God, the only time uh, the uh, the uh, the entire time I was watching it, all I could think about was you and the way you, you used to be, you used to be a Lego Master. The, the only time I think about you is when I watched <laughs> Lego Masters. The only thing I thought of when I watched it was you and how you was, okay, used to be okay, at one nice, time. Nice. At now, one time, we're a better, Lego Master. That's a better sentence. That's a better sentence. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, I got into Legos there for a bit. Um, I stopped making Legos because they cost so much money, dude. Like, even the smallest sets, like the, the sets of like 400 pieces. Cost oh, yeah. Like, if you want to. $30. There's like, you know, the $15 ones, but that's something you can make in, you know, 10 minutes. It's yeah, like a, it's like a, it's like a helicopter. And that's yeah, it. Yeah, if you want like the Death Star, you're paying like three hundred dollars. Oh, easily, yeah. There's some, some of them are just so expensive. Would I ever fuck around with the Millennium Falcon? Question number two. Yes. <laughs> yes, I would. So Dude, if like you, if you were just you gifted, me... if you were gifted a Millennium Falcon Lego set, you would be like, "Fuck yeah, I'm doing this." Yeah, I would do it a thousand times. Yes, like, I honestly give. If someone gave me the biggest Lego set they could possibly find, I would do it. Mm. Yeah. I wish we were. At, I wish we had more of a fan base, so I would just start start getting Lego set after Lego <laughs> set after Lego set. Like, I would. Sh I would make every single. Uh, honestly, that would be fucking terrible. That would be terrible. If, any, if anybody, if anybody is listening out there and has some disposable income, just uh, yeah, send um, me the biggest Lego set you possibly can message. Find. Message the RSMRY media on either Twitter or Instagram or any of those, and just uh, I'll give you an address, and you can you can send some surprise Lego send sets. All Casey, the Lego. Casey will just start live streaming himself building Legos. <laughs> that'd be fantastic. Um, <laughs> Is they're the most? They're really expensive. Honestly, we bought yeah. the, uh, and uh, we bought the. Uh, Steve and I had bought the firehouse, and um, we put oh, yeah. that together, and that was fun as hell. I remember seeing you in Target, like looking in the in the Lego section. Then that was your, when you were in that phase too, where you were dressing up no matter where you went. Yeah, I remember yeah, like yeah, seeing yeah. you. That was, and it was the first time I saw you in a little while, and you were just like the you know the nicest pants, nicest shoes, your little <laughs> floral tie tucked in, and everything. And I was just like. Damn! <laughs> what what you doing here in Target dressing like that? <laughs> what you what you think this is? Yeah, I had to stop doing that because I was spending way too much money on, on clothes. clothing. Yeah, <laughs> clothing. yeah, like it just becomes an addiction at that point, yep. dude. Mm -hmm. I I know what girls go through now. Yeah, exactly. We feel, what we feel you. We feel you. I feel you. Um, I, I, uh, I signed up for Showtime again. Kidding starts tonight, season two. Can't wait for that. Fa really excited. Fashion, ad fashion addiction's a real fucking thing. Oh, yeah. I, I I wear something like three or four times, and then it starts to feel old to me, and it makes me want to buy something new. Like, it's something will be... I literally might not have even washed it yet, and I still feel like, mm, you know, I've worn it out. Like, it just doesn't... I look at myself in a mirror, and I'm just like, this, this doesn't feel yes. right. This feels old now. Especially if, like, with those with those clothes, like, with the dress-up uh, clothes, like, if people, like, I had the weirdest thing, man, like, if people would would see me in the clothing, I didn't want them to see me in the same clothing. 
Oh yeah, I mean I've been there. It got it got really really bad. And then, but then like the way you can mix it up is just like a different tie or a different shirt, but same pants and just doing different combinations. But then in of my head, and... I'd, I'd be like, they would still they still know. Yeah, they know. They still know. I need I need everything new. I think about that all the time, like just what I wear to work in the day. It's like, oh, I wore this last Friday, but I, so I can't wear it again this Friday, even though it's clean. But like they're gonna think that it's not because I'm just wearing the same things in rotation week after week. Like I I, I just you get in your own head about it. It's, yeah, if I wear normal, if I wear normal clothes, that doesn't happen. But if I like focus on what I'm wearing and uh -huh. like, focus on my my attire, yeah, I get really fucking self conscious <laughs> like that about it, dude. Like beyond self conscious. Um, okay, moving on. Sorry, I didn't. Yeah, no, I got I got Showtime again. Uh, uh, Jesus and Mero's back as well. New episodes every uh, every Monday and Thursday. Really excited to watch that again. You know, Casey, Jesus and Mero are the uh, two of the people that uh, basically convinced me not not personally. They didn't talk to me, but watching their show is what want made me want to do like these podcasts and do the whole Rosemary thing. It was Jesus and Mero, IGN, and kind of funny. Like those are the things that I was like getting into, watching more and more and more, and I was like. I can do this. Actually, it was Connor. At one day, he was just like watching like an IGN podcast, and he texted me, and he was just like, "We could do this fucking thing." And I was like, "You know what? Let's do it." And I just decided to start the whole thing. <laughs> so yeah, Connor was the Connor was the push, and then all, all those were the influence. Connor, the rest is history. The man. Um, I didn't. I didn't realize he was the. Uh, he was the push starter. I mean, I, I'm, he's the one that got like, got like the idea really in my head. Like he, at first, it was just like a thing that I would think about randomly. But then he was just like, "Yo, we could we could do this. We can sit there and talk about games." And I, would, I was like, "You know what? We could." And then I started brainstorming like who I would want to bring on to each show and like what we'd do. And then, it, you know, you, I have this idea. Like I don't like to half-ass anything. I like that just full blown z all of it. So like you know, I'm not just like, oh yeah, let, I'll do one podcast, like whatever. No, I got to do a games podcast. I got to do a movies podcast. I got to do a music podcast, <laughs> and then I have to have a website, and then I have to do videos, and like it just became like something way bigger that like I didn't have the time to do uh for when I working a forty hour a week job like at the bare minimum, and I was also preparing you know, like a wedding and getting married and leaving my wife, and it was just a whole thing. Like I remember at one point, Casey, do you remember we were doing a video Monday through Thursday every single week? Yeah, I got a. I remember when I was like streaming for six hours, six yeah. seven hours a day. You were pretty, you were like... streaming constantly. I was. Uh, we had the the live show every single Monday night at seven, where me, you, and Alex were together doing a show, and then we had modern classics that went up during the week. We had a. Uh, I, I did a recommendation video that went up every week. We had a uh, hot plates that went up every week. We had a highlight reel that went up every week. Like. Monday through Thursday, every single week, there was a brand new video going up. And, like, I was waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning, editing it, posting it, doing all the hashtags and stuff. And it just it got to be too much. You can't it, you can't burn yourself yes. out like that. But if oh, anybody, yeah. again, you know, you want to send us some money, you want to let, let us do this full time, well, I'll be, I'll be happy to go back to doing that. I just can't do that and also work a full time job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. That's what it got to. Like, I think about streaming all the time, but. It's just like trying to keep a schedule, like a, a maintain a schedule while yeah. working. It's just that's the schedule I maintain. Yep. It's my fucking work, and I don't <laughs> even maintain it that well. Honestly, I don't even maintain it that well. <laughs> um, Brooklyn Nine Nine is back as well. Two episodes of that aired this week. That show's still great, obviously. Um, uh, lastly, I started watching uh, Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet on Friday night. That's the show show with Rob McElhenney, um, where it's is that on Netflix. It's on Apple TV Plus. Apple TV Plus. You're like you're one of the you're one of the cool guys. Uh, I got it free for a year because uh because we got new phones. You're one of the cool guys. <laughs> yeah. So um, the show's fucking cool, man. Like it's basically just like you know it's. It's always sunny style humor in a in a game developer setting where they're going to streamer con and like, you know, trying to like get influencers to like, you know, play their game and stuff. And they're talking about like this DLC package that they're making and like introducing different elements and different areas. And there's like Abed from uh, Community. I forget his real name, but he's in the show and he's kind of like their um, microtransaction guy who just like basically helps them make money in the game and adds in the stuff that like you have to pay for and like builds a casino in the game that you can go and like use your money toward and that's you know it's monet monetization have and you all that ever stuff. watched silicon valley uh well, the first valley? season 
this sounds a lot like it. Oh, it's very much like so. It's Silicon Valley, but in a video game, like game, like, yeah, one hundred percent. Like they talk about bad. Kotaku articles in Polygon and stuff like that. Like it very much exists, like like that. And like that when one scene, like there's a Red Dead Redemption. That's what I was, thing I was just on. bringing it up because like if like if you like this, and you definitely oh like yeah. Silicon. Um, but yeah, it's really good. I'm, I'm really into it. I've only got two episodes left. We, we crushed through the first seven of them, uh, yesterday. So yeah, we got, we got two more. I'll finish that today and then I'll give you the, the full review, uh, next week, probably. Um, the Super Bowl was last week. The Chiefs won. Great game. Casey, one commercial stuck out to me and I wanted to talk to you about it. What's that? There was the so this one underneath here. Jesus Christ. The planters pe- peanut guy <laughs> dies and was regrown into a new nut known as hashtag baby nut and i assume this is to clearly capitalize on like baby Groot, baby yoda they're just like giving a new baby with big with big eyes and you know something that people think is cute so they'll buy it all up and what's the deal what's the deal why why are we why are we jumping on this baby thing can we just can we just let it exist can we not steal ideas and at the same time what what baby what baby version of a mascot do you want to see next casey (laughs) I'm just baffled by how like the peanut planters guy is uh is apparently immortal. Uh I mean like, this is, so die? so I think like you know he died but is like his in... nut went into the ground and then like he nutted into the ground and it oh, grew, is that, like, it his, grew a new his one. child or is it just him? I think it's just like, a re a new version of him. Same that so Groot in the of in Guardians of the Galaxy that's how Groot like you know Groot dies in the first yeah. one and then he regrows Weird. Himself. Just very weird. Very weird. So, uh, very weird. Very the, ideas, weird. the ideas that I had for the <laughs> one, maybe two minutes that I thought about it, uh, Hello Kitten, you know, instead of Hello Kitty, it's a. It's kitten. But every time you bring you bring these up, I just think of like their main character dying, and yeah. then somehow them coming back is like a like I just. It, um, it, I apparently it, it it kind of works as a, it, with a peanut, I guess. Maybe. But like, but you also you, don't grow you, peanuts by putting putting a peanut in the ground. So. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it makes no sense then. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so like, so would you like? Apparently, you would murder Hello Kitty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Bury her in the ground. She would come back up as zombie baby. Yeah, Hello yeah, Kitty. yeah. Like a pet cemetery situation. She's like, ah, okay, okay, <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, the the other one I had instead of Captain Crunch, I had Baby Crunch. You know, a, a, a little teeny pirate. You know, nothing cuter than that. Uh, instead of Big Bird, maybe a baby bird. You know, just just use the movie Pet Cemetery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And just just run a bunch of mascots into it. Yeah, you know, someone yeah. snaps the neck of Big Bird and buries his skull, and it just like births a new uh, a new a baby new- bird. A new baby bird, yeah, yeah. but it's evil. <laughs> <laughs> Did you write in the notes murder Big Bird? No. Huh. I mean. Did I? Because, mean... <laughs> like, that's where the conversation went, but I don't even remember writing that. <laughs> um, ah, mean, maybe there's I, another force at te- work here. I don't technically, know. technically, you would have to um, if you wanted to create another baby Big Bird. I guess. <laughs> Uh, speaking of the murder him. speaking of the Super Bowl, did you see that our genius how president did, thought that did, Kansas was in the, or what? Before we move on, okay. <laughs> how did the Planet Peanut guy die? Uh, I don't remember. Like the thing, the commercial just started with like uh, his funeral. I think he was old, like old age. He was he'd been around for quite a few years now. Oh, he died of old age. Yeah, I assume. He, just came he was back. always like an old man. He had those. He had like a monocle and like that top hat and shit. He was he was from a different life, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now this one can grow up to be the hype beast that he is. Hype beast. <laughs> they got they they got him in some Jordans and uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Did you see how our genius president thought Kansas City was in Kansas, Casey? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes I swear to God, he's trolling us. <laughs> I would love it, dude. I would respect him if when his presidency is over, whether it's this year or in fucking four years from now, that he was just like, yeah, dude, I got you guys. Like, I got you guys hard. <laughs> I, I, honestly, even if he wasn't trolling us, he could still say, I got you guys, and yeah. he's right. He's Yo, literally true. I don't know. He if- could turn around and be like, got you guys hard, and be like, yeah, dude. Fucking dead. I don't know if Rogar's making a uh, making a joke in the chat or if this is actually what happened in the commercial, but it's but it's genius. Uh, he said that he died because he was past his expiration date. Oh wow! <laughs> I don't remember if that was part of the commercial or not because I didn't watch it that intently. But 
<laughs> or if that's a joke, like props, props, bro, guys, you killed it. <laughs> so yeah, it's like you meet you meet Big Bird on, on in like the uh, in the back alley, and he's like, "You're past your expiration date, bud." <laughs> um, kill him. Now, Casey, this next story is a fun one. Valentine's Day is in five days, and Burger yeah, King is yeah. getting in the spirit. Burger King will give you a free Whopper if you show them a picture of your ex. Oh, okay. okay let, me, let me read this. Okay. Uh, this is from BuzzFeed. Uh, Burger King. Uh, so it's a. It's to go along with the new uh, Harley Quinn movie, Birds of Prey. Um, <laughs> basically, if you show a photo of your ex to select Burger King, you get a you get a free Whopper. Where's the explanation here? Hold on. What a... <clears throat> oh, it's only so it's only valid in four different Burger Kings, and they're in New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Boston. It gives the addresses to each one. Um, so you. you, you How many exes do I get? Casey, Casey's just just, one? Casey's just walking in with just like uh here's this one here's this one here's this one here's this, this one three whoppers like how here's does this work this one. here's this one how many whoppers I get <laughs> how many whoppers do I get yeah, all the photos you want no shame what what like what proof of, what proof of kind of like uh of like relationship do they need I don't know I think it's just uh I think it's a just, picture you know... of me and her like tonguing each other yeah <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not sure, man. Um, we got G Homie in the chat, though, who says, Let's play Steep. I downloaded it. Uh, G Homie, we're kind of busy right now, but. <laughs> you downloaded Steep, though. But maybe, but maybe, in, but maybe in a bit. Uh, also, stay, stay yeah, tuned, G Homie, because we're going to talk about Steep here in, uh, in just a little bit, so don't go anywhere. Downloaded <laughs> Steep. I'm just going to have to see your name on all the fucking high scores. <laughs> For real. Yeah, uh, moving yeah, on to some video game yeah, topics, Casey. More names. Um, Beat you and more I fucking G homie name high scores. I'll kill you, bud. <laughs> you said sup, Bill. Took your scores already. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, we'll see about that. Uh, moving on to some video game topics, Casey. You and I played Journey to the Savage Planet. Finally, what do you think of it so far? Um, I think some of the mechanics are pretty fucking infuriating, but <laughs> it's a little wonky, and that's just like you know, it's it's part of its charm, you know. The, it's like when you biggest, play the most, the biggest thing that's like. I didn't mind anything like I didn't mind most of it until I got to like the grappling and then uh, that's when it got really wonky yeah and uh, I wanted to die we're like you have uh, to be a certain distance away in order for that to grapple on so like you'll jump off of something press the button press 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 and it doesn't snap on and then all of a sudden you're falling all the way to your death yeah and they give you like the craziest like um like uh, paths to follow uh -huh. it's like not really like a uh, uh like a laid out path they're like here just find your fucking way bud have mm -hmm. fun no arrow pointing you and telling you like which way to go it's just like figure it out yeah which like so to an extent or, or like usually... okay we can figure it out but like after a while you know it gets a little a little frustrating yeah and if it wasn't as if it wasn't as wonky it would like actually have uh it'd actually be fun to figure out the uh right like the path but mm. but overall the game like i i really it was, enjoy it, it. i like yeah it was, it was, a, it was a, like it was a quirky little uh fun, funny game yeah exactly like there's a there's a nice like some comedy to it um you know it's we we had a lot of funny moments we put a video up this week on our youtube page if you want to watch that um it shows us you know getting into about the first two hours of the game so yeah a lot a lot of like funny interactions with like some of the animals that are in the world and the way you have to defeat them and other than your gun glitching out and you not being able to shoot for about 30 <laughs> minutes like that really yeah, set us back I had but, to die but yeah it's an indie game it's not going to be perfect um but it's it's a good time and when at a time like now when there's not really any other like big triple a games out like it's it hits this it hits the spot because if this is released you know in in may or something when we had the last of us and shit like we wouldn't have even you know taken a look at this so they they planned the what the release of this perfectly they did they definitely did i'll agree with that mm -hmm. it's a yeah it's and it's pretty fun it's a yeah, pretty like, fun for the co-op uh you know it's yeah a pretty fun co-op game and like you know there's there's puzzles there to solve there's ways you have to figure out how to get past something there's like bossy ish battles where there's like you know a more difficult enemy that you're trying to defeat at a certain point in the game so yeah there's a little bit of everything some platforming even like when the parts of the lava like it's it's a little bit of everything it's a mixed bag and it's it's good for it um also a little psa to everyone anyone that was a part of the dreams beta um we know dreams comes out next friday on valentine's day 
Um, but if you were part of the beta and p paid the $30 or whatever it was a year ago, you get to early upgrade on the 11th. So next Tuesday, you'll actually, or this coming Tuesday, you'll be able to jump into uh, to jump into Dreams in the full version of the game. Hmm. So, uh, and j j just so you know, too, the, uh, the story mode that we're getting along with it is about three hours long. It's called Art's Dream. Um, and it's the, what they've created, like a bunch of little mini games that tells a story of like, you know, this artist or something. I don't really know the full thing, but, um, you can play that story. And what they're also giving you is all of the assets of the game that they made so that like you can make a remake or you can make a sequel to the game. Like you can, you can make art stream too, if you wanted to, like they want to give everybody everything they used in that game to make your own version of it or something. And that's yeah, awesome. That's, uh, but I read that they're not going to. I think it's like you're not going to be able to remix the levels or like go in. It's like something isn't going to be available right off the bat. Like mm. you, they're going to, it's going to be kind of like Little Big Planet where they give you um, certain uh, assets and you mm. can use, like go back in and like see how they, you know what I mean? Like nice, yeah. you can use those in your level and like, hmm. so the, they could give you like the train and you could like go put the train in your, in your level and like, go in and see like what they did to make the train it's right. i don't think it's gonna be everything not yet they gotcha. said at least um casey i think this is uh this is your time to send it your time to jump in dude yeah g homie g homie instagram instagram chicks don't need to stop posting ass pics okay bro that's yeah that's why Inst that's why instagram exists that's why you go <laughs> that's why you go there dude if they stopped what would it be for? It yeah. would just turn into Facebook at that point. You, you, you your need mom to do... and dad would start posting photos on there. You have your aunt posting photos. You need to on do one. Of, you need to do one of two things, but probably both, G homie. One, you need to uh, you need to just you need to just uh, if you can't if you can't handle the fire, then get out of the kitchen. Kitchen. You can't handle the heat. <laughs> then get out of the kitchen. Where the fuck that phrase is? <laughs> Number two. You can't. <laughs> You can't fucking you can't fuck up the phrase whatever okay. what, 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 what i was two, trying to say number two well, what i was trying to say is just like you gotta control yourself bud like if you if you, if you can't you know you, you can't handle the the, heat, the get out of the kitchen you know what i'm saying <laughs> you can't do you did, literally didn't know the phrase so you went in for a second time <laughs> uh anyways but speaking of uh of, um, you of, know uh, what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Dreams, know. Casey, you gotta you gotta do it. So they do the Impy Awards every year, where they give away awards for like best voice uh, acting, best story, <laughs> best narrative, best uh, um, animation, whatever. You jump in there, you start doing that. You're gonna win an award next year. Someone's gonna f like look up the guy I'm that won that Impy Award. They're gonna look I'm up not... the guy that won that Impy Award. You're gonna get a job for a video game developer. I feel like the, I feel like all those dudes <laughs> making amazing games have like some sort of programming background, so they know at least a little bit of what they're doing all right so update on g homie he says he can't handle it his shaft <laughs> is bleeding um in case you aren't following g homie is scrolling through instagram um <laughs> looking at some woman posting or multiple yeah. women posting ass pics and he can't hey. control himself so he's pounding his little guy so hard that is now bleeding hey. um <laughs> yeah i mean if you can't handle the heat then get out of the kitchen <laughs> point you don't even know the phrase that's the phrase that's it <laughs> did you look it up if you, no i just know I, I just it, i had to i had to think about it for a minute i had to i had to workshop it a little bit in my own brain and i got it it's, if you can't take the heat get out of the kitchen you know okay <laughs> can't, can't handle the fire get out of the flame but casey next up is steep to actually happening uh, this article popped up on CCN, not CNN, like Casey thought it was, <laughs> a couple yeah, I mean, weeks ago. And I, yeah, who knows what the fuck CCN is, of course. <laughs> I don't even know what that stands for. Um, I missed this article. I, I, don't, I don't even know how I missed it because it was up on the, the Reddit page and everything, which I visit frequently. Basically says that Ubisoft has been reaching out to snag licensing for third-party music to use in the upcoming game. Like, it's been listing it as Steep 2, and they've been actively, like, searching for people to do uh, <laughs> the soundtrack for it. I don't know why you're putting music into that fucking game. <laughs> shit was so bad. Just let me listen to my own music. <laughs> shit was so bad. Um, I turn the music. Hey, everybody that's making Steve, I turn the music off. Yeah, I did too. It's better for streaming too. Like it just sounds better without it. 
and everyone's probably gonna listen to their own music anyway. You don't even yeah. put music in there. Yeah. Um. So basically, they're trying to they're trying to do that. And uh, um, Casey. And... Anybody who li- anybody who likes those songs too. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Oh, um. Boy. So this time this timed up perfectly with uh. <laughs> I jammed to it. She always said. She only jams to it, dude. <laughs> Uh, hey, and just a just a shout out too. If you guys want to be part of the chat, just like G Homie is, just say, you know, watch us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash RSMRY Media every single Sunday around 9 30 ish. fucking jam to it. <laughs> you would too, G Homie. Dude, I fucking, you know, sometimes I catch myself jamming to it too, and I'm like, oh God, you gotta turn it off. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this timed up perfectly with another thing that happened this week, Casey, where the, the, so the last fiscal quarter, um, just finally ended. So the, the fiscal year is finally over with, and a lot of companies had like business calls and everything going on this week where they had to discuss their, the, their plans in the co- upcoming year and everything. And, uh, uh, this, this came out from Ubisoft's, uh, conversation that they had. Ubisoft will launch five AAA games between April 2020 and March 2021, including Watch Dogs Legion, Gods and Monsters, and Rainbow Six Quarantine. The other two are from Ubisoft's biggest franchises, it says. Uh, this is via like their, their earnings call that they had. So we know he got those three that they just listed. What are the other two? Assassin's Creed is one of them. We've been hearing the rumors of the Assassin's Creed uh, Vikings game. So you've got those three, Assassin's Creed. What else? What would be Ubisoft's biggest franchise? Mm, I already read that uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2 is nowhere near releasing, yeah. so it's probably not going to be that. Um, I'm yeah. saying fuck it, dude. It's steep. Like, it's not one of their biggest franchises at all. It definitely isn't. They've got way bigger franchises, but fuck it, dude. <laughs> I'm saying, yeah. that, like, the rumors are true. Steep 2 is coming Splinter this holiday Cell? season. Yeah, that's another one people are talking about. Even, like, uh, Mario Rabbids 2 could be one of them. And Sam Fisher's in a wheelchair at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Stop putting me in these games. Stop, Stop putting me in these missions. <laughs> I just want to retire. Um, yeah, I, I, the rumors are, are circulating that Steep 2 is a thing, and I really, really hope that it's true. There's also a rumor floating around right now, Casey, that a new Ratchet and Clank game is going to be coming from Insomniac as a launch title from PS5. Okay, okay. Um, yay. <laughs> Did you not like the first one? Or the last one that came out on PS4? Not the first one. I never really played it. I mean, oh, dude, it's so I good. Know. I loved that game. Connor and I are both like equally. We play we played it at the same exact time. We both loved it so much. Like it's like one of those I, games I feel that like I could beat. get down with it. Yeah, it was a PS Plus game, so you probably have it. I don't think I downloaded it at the time. Oh, no, oh no, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Um, Casey, have I told you about my NBA Street theory? NBA Street? Uh, no, but I read it. Out. So. so it's here. Yeah, so last year when NBA Live was canceled, EA said that they wanted to do, they wanted to, you know, take more time to work on it, rethink some things. They didn't want to put out the game they weren't happy with, yada, yada, yada. What I think that they're seeing is like everybody that has all these negative things to say about the 2K series and how they're like, they're fucking up the neighborhood and they're not doing this with the park and they're making all, doing all these things wrong. And now the majority of people don't even play fucking exhibition, don't even play like all the other modes. Like they only care about park and they only care about the neighborhood. I'm saying, what if. EA decided to just go and not NBA Live. They go NBA Street comes back next year, and they just fully focus on the creating your own character and just building yourself up. And the game is only based on that. There's no teams. There's no licensing or anything going on. Maybe there's like some NBA stuff because they do have the license, but they're not even gonna worry about putting all the NBA characters in the game. This is this is a game that you get into and you just play as your created guy. Um. Yeah, but then what do I have to do when all the fucking latency fucks with me? <laughs> <laughs> what if it does? EA, EA's got that money, dude. EA's got that money. Yeah, I can only fucking hope. But... <laughs> this is this is my theory, and this is what I, I mean, want. That would be cool. I mean, that'd, like, be, that'd be decent. Like a fully yeah. full blown like NBA street where you have like this giant neighborhood with all these different things to do, and like you know you buy your clothing, you upgrade your guy, and it's a little over the top in some areas, but like just really good like street basketball, and that's all it is. Well, what would you do if that did that existed and it looked awesome? Would you, would you get both games? Would you say no? I'm a I'm 2K like through and through. I'm gonna keep a 2K, or would you just jump ship and play this instead? 
I don't know. I'd probably end up getting both at some point just to try out yeah. uh, the street. But... I think if this happened, like street would come out first. I think we'd get an NBA street uh, releasing like a week before. We would get that and then to make our decision based on that. <laughs> based yeah. on how it was even if i don't want to because at least with 2k if i don't want to deal with the fucking the latency or dumbass players or me just being a shit player in general like uh -huh. i could just go i could just go play offline but yeah, yeah if that was if it was just that i'd be like cool i can now go play street ball with <laughs> against the ai that's all like, you have well you probably see like all, exhibition yeah. yeah yeah against ai and stuff so yeah, I would I would love that. Man, a game that was just focused on just the park and not all the other stuff. Like I, you know, I I don't I don't play exhibition the, games, but, so but the uh, uh the the uh, servers and button latency would probably I mean, I I would hope would be better. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I the EA money. It's like a it's like a cool concept to be able to see everybody in the park and everything. And like, or like to be able to see three other games going on behind me when I wreck. Mm -hmm. But like, it's like a cool concept. But if it's fucking around with how the game is running, yeah. then like, why is it there? Yeah. Like, like even give us like a slider in the game that's like, do you want uh, better visuals or better gameplay? Oh, scroll those visuals, or visuals right down. Take out everybody in the background. You can, you can look like there's nobody here. Make, make it a little blurb. I don't care if it's an actual yeah. person like, as long I, as I, uh, it doesn't lag on me. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, it's cool. That's like a cool, it's like, it like puts, it's like immersive and puts yeah. me into like a, into the situation. But like, if that should, uh, if that shit doesn't like, if that shit's affecting the game, then why yeah, yeah. the fuck is it there? You know, mm -hmm. like holy shit. Especially like, in cool the rec center. Cool idea. I, I just think it's gonna be it's gonna be so much better on the new uh yeah the new consoles. I, I think, hope so, man. I think the 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 uh, neighborhood stayed the way it was because we couldn't upgrade it. Like, yeah, I'd like to it. think that like they just didn't put too much work into that and they kept the same one because no, in the background I, I, they're I, working on the next one. That that too, but honestly, man, like you walk around that neighborhood now and you're fucking you you're like glitching out and like it's like I don't know, like I just don't think like like they they probably could have like put things in a different like I don't know they could have put everything in a different spot and made yeah. like you know made it like look different but in order to like give us more or even like i don't know like i don't think i think we've just reached the limit you know like i think yeah. it's um I'm, I, I can walk around that shit and be skipping like oh oh i'm loading skip <laughs> skip skip um as for some music stuff uh the format is back uh we talked about that last week how the rumors were circulating that they were going to be back they 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 are um they played a surprise show announced a few more they sold out they announced a few more those sold out uh nothing about new music yet um they're just playing these shows like we'll see what happens i'd like to see you know a new album or something this year but who knows um it, but at least nate roos is out there singing again that's that's all that really matters um I'll still hold out hope for an album. Hopefully it comes this year. Just like I've been holding on hope for a Frank Ocean album, which brings me to Frank Motion, the part in the show where I tell you what moves Frank Ocean has been making this week. <laughs> Casey, again, he didn't make any moves. He didn't do anything. I didn't get my vinyl. I didn't get I get, didn't get a ship, shipping notification that those seven inches are coming in. Must be waiting on something. But I have a new theory as to when the album is coming. Casey, for the last few months, Frank Ocean's website... The head, the the header on there just says one simple phrase. It's a black background with white text, and it says, "Look at us, we're in love." And you know, it's been nothing. We just kind of some people assume like maybe that's the name of the album, maybe it's just a phrase that he liked, maybe it's a, a lyric in a song. I think it's a reference to you know, love itself, and the and the Valentine's Day is kind of just like a flaunting look at us, <laughs> we're in love, and this has been a hint all along that he's dropping his album on valentine's day casey <laughs> it's coming this week dude it's coming on friday we gotta do frank ocean i'm coming on friday on top of yeah, tame impala yeah, and justin bieber dude tame impala justin bieber frank ocean all in the same day what a valentine's day so much to fall cry in love with yourself to sleep <laughs> cry your but... fucking self to sleep dude cry your oh yeah self i'm going to, to sleep, I'm going to uh, I'm going to Ottawa for for Valentine's Day. We're going up to spend some some snowy time up there, and I'm gonna the entire way there. I'm just gonna just be pumping that Frank Ocean the entire time. 
<laughs> Can't wait. Can not wait. Did you listen to anything new this week, Casey? Um, I uh, just listened to that Denzel Curry and Kenny Beats. I uh, haven't listened to that yet. How is it? It's pretty fucking great, dude. You is should it? probably give it a listen. Yeah. I love that all the song yeah, titles are just like what the file saved as in the Garage Band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny, but it's really good. It's really nice. good. The Denzel Curry, Kenny Beats. Yeah, and um. I haven't listened to all of it yet because I was uh I was listening to it when I was down smoking a cigarette, but it was uh nice. I I plan on listening to all of it. The beats are pretty fucking awesome and Denzel always tears it. Yeah. Um outside of that, uh Haley Williams dropped an EP. So the fur she released two songs and then like the EP came out on Thursday. And what we are assuming is happening is that there, she's going to release three EPs, and that's what's going to make up the album. So EP one is like the first five songs, EP two the next five or so, and then EP three will be like the next five, and let's sit, call it a 15-track album or something. We're assuming that's what's going to happen. That's the way that she's releasing those, which is very similar to the way that uh, Kevin Abstract did it last year, where he was releasing four-track um, EPs. He did you know, the first one, the second one, and then the album was out as like the full thing. Um, what do you think? What do you think about this, uh, this release schedule of just like keeping in the, you know, keeping your name out there, keeping the conversation and the buzz going around you for, you know, several months at a time as you slowly release parts of the album at once. Cause Moses Sumney is kind of doing the same thing where part one of his album is out sometime in February. It's a two part album and the second part comes out in May. So just kind of like stretching out that release period. Um, me, myself, I really am, um, I'm really one to advocate for uh, like full, full uh, re- projects and yeah. uh, like a full, full fledged um, thing. Like right, I don't know, like on release. Um, I don't even like trilogies or series. Like I'm just, I want one full fledged piece of. Uh, so like this kind of breaking up your albums into little series, like it kind of turns me off to it, honestly, right. and it. I'll probably come back and listen to it as a whole piece. Yep. Like, and, if, I, and if you and if you don't release it as a whole piece, like I probably will never listen. Oh no! To it. Like that's the thing is like when Kevin Abstract was doing it, I was like turned off from it at first because like I'm just like you. I want an album. I'm an album guy. I want to hear the whole thing in full. But at the same time, as they were coming out, I was like, huh, like this is in more easily digestible four songs. Where like I'm going on a short drive. I'm only going to be gone for 15 minutes or so. But I can get those four songs in, listen to them a couple times, and like I've got those. Then the next four come out, and again, easily digestible. I've got these songs. I'm listening to them more than I would had I listened to like a full album because it's harder to get through. Where like you keep restarting it, listen to the same four in the beginning again, but never getting to the end of the album. So like I kind of started to get it why you would do it in segments so that you can digest them easy, easily and also like a year later like now here we are i don't remember those eps like now it just like that album exists as its own like so in the long term i feel like it's not affected too much because you're going to remember that as an album but in the short term it just kind of like makes it choppy and confusing yeah i and i can understand that but like for me like I can understand regular people and their schedules and everything, but I have I have six hours, seven hours every night that I'm right. by myself alone where I can just digest, you know, like, I don't know. That's just my, my relative uh, Which I'm, uh, situation. So stoked like, to get uh, your thoughts on the Tame Impala album when that comes out Friday. Oh, I'm, I'm really excited to listen to it. But, uh, but I don't know, man. I think of it like, uh, like like uh books or anything like mm-hmm. I'd, i would rather have like a even or like um <clears throat> yeah like imagine like, that with a book imagine that like you yeah. get the first three chapters and then a month later you get the next three chapters and like you just, it's have just to like keep... a, that's why i thought of it like a series you know like yeah. like i would rather have like the entire show on netflix than having to wait every week yeah like i that's just how you know i i yeah. don't know like and like that's at the end of the day it's simply marketing because like the same like you release a show every week then people are constantly talking about it every week you've got like you know websites and everyone doing reviews of that single episode and it's just like how did this episode do how did this episode do and people are talking about it for the eight weeks that your eight episode series is out there so that keeps the conversation going longer where you know stranger things came out dropped all at once people talked about it for like a week or two and then it was a thing of the past people have moved on to the next thing so it's just a yeah. marketing thing to keep the conversation going longer 
Yeah, exactly. Where me, I, my like me as a personally, I just like to, to, to digest things on my own, right? You know, right. Own accord. So, yep. But, uh, but I can understand. I honestly can. Yeah, understand it's one it. of those things that you get, but it's just like you know, everyone has their preference of how they like to how they like to you know consume whatever it is they're consuming and. You can never make everybody happy. Everyone's going to want something different. There's no right yeah. or wrong way to do it. It just is what it is. Yeah, it's art, dude. There's yeah. A, obviously, yeah, exactly. Like, especially how you release it. I mean, like, there's no right or wrong way. Uh, Casey, last but not least, Dunkaroos are coming back this summer. Did you fuck with Dunkaroos as a kid? I mean, I probably had a couple you know say, I probably du- had say like a, a dunkaroo or two <laughs> a dunk, a dunk, i probably had a dunkaroo or two in my day uh g homie wants to know our ass picks art and let me give you a quote g homie this is a quote from my man shia labeouf during his hot ones appearance where he said anything that moves you is art that anything that <laughs> trust me bud some of those move me too <laughs> that's but what i'm saying so you. anything that moves you is art dude i say that to everybody that asks us something is art now because so the question was was uh our memes considered art and he said anything that moves you is art so it's honestly it really depends on how it's taken you know so if the it really picks, depends on how it's yeah it, really it depends on the lighting out. the angle you know what i mean the lighting <laughs> the angle how it's taken you know where it's taken at you know so yeah is she putting is she putting some creative thought behind it you know she she really mixing it up or is it you know <laughs> you gotta really think about those things yeah 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 also, is it okay that we start like referring to like butts as Dunkaroos? <laughs> Dunkaroos. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm gonna dip that Dunkaroo real good. Oh, like dipping? Oh, like yeah, penis. I don't know. Anything. You know, there's there's something there, dude. There's definitely something there. Like, uh, yeah, I think I think we can get there. I think we can get there. There's there's uh yeah. Um, so uh, Dunkaroos are coming back. That's great. Uh, balls in your court. 3D Doritos. Okay, okay. I don't you know, really think I ever had 3D Doritos. Oh, man, they were just like these puffy little Dorito things. Yeah, like, it was more like butt bugles. It was like a bugle uh, Dorito. Yeah, it was like a little mini bugle that tasted like Dorito. a Dorito. Yeah. Um, bugle Dorito. Uh, Let's just like stop calling them 3D Doritos and call them bugle Doritos. <laughs> Burrito- burritos. Yeah, burritos. <laughs> burritos. Burugles. 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 <laughs> Uh, oh, one, one more thing though. Uh, shout out to PBR Hard Coffee because it it had no business being as delicious as it was. I was so at the... what, what, what is this? Shout out to PBR Hard Coffee for rearing. Uh, I don't know. Rearing I don't know what. Like I, don't, I don't know what I meant. Reared like a chocolate milkshake. You have to dude. understand. So here, here was the fr- Here's my Friday, right? So Friday came. Uh, snow all day. They're saying 12 to 18 inches of snow, and I was like, hell yeah. So, you know, I went went to work in the morning, and then, like, it started snowing harder, so I took my work home with me and did, like, some work from home, but I still had to go back out and do some, like, deliveries and some meetings after that, one of which being at a brewery that I do stuff for. So, like, I was like, huh, I'll just go deliver this stuff last, so then I can, like, have a drink there. So, went there, had a drink or two, played some ping pong, then went over to the wine lounge in, uh had like a glass of wine there and as we were leaving you know there was this there was this can of that i've seen these before but never wanted to like buy a six pack of it and waste some money or whatever but you know paps blue ribbon you know one of the most basic of beers hard coffee and i was like you know what let's try one of these we split it amongst three of us just so we could all have a taste and dude it tasted just like chocolate milk it was delicious it's so good and then I got home and that's when I made these notes. Maybe I was a little drunk and I, I don't I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I was I don't even know what I was trying to write, but I thought you I thought you drank PBR hard coffee and I uh, it, for like some shoved reason, it up my ass. No, no, no. For some <laughs> reason like chocolate milk gave you like the biggest shit. Oh, so, so you, like so when like you drank sh- it, it gave you a sh- it gave you a sh- it reared like chocolate oh, milk. Oh yeah, yeah. You know? So we're just saying like rearing is another word for is a synonym for taking a shit. We're like taking a diarrhea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. I reared yeah. that toilet hard. I fucking reared it. <laughs> I fucking reared it hard. Uh The Rosemary Radar will be live tomorrow morning, but let's take a little sneak peek at some of the new releases that are going to be featured on it, and we'll be talking about on next week's show. Wednesday, The Soup is coming back, Casey. Remember The Soup with, uh, what's his face? Um. (laughs) What the fuck was his name? Uh, That describes it. He's also in Community. This is the second Community character that we've talked about in this episode. Donald Glover. Nope. (laughs) That's the only one I know, bud. Um... (laughs) 
<laughs> Damn, I'm drawing a blank. Maybe I'm drunk still. I don't know. From Friday. <laughs> um, the soup is coming back on Wednesday. On Friday, though, the, the big day. Tame Impala's The Slow Rush. Justin Bieber's Seasons. Frank Ocean's uh, Look at Us, We're in Love, obviously. He's, it's not called Cry Yourself to Sleep. No, 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 no. no. Maybe, yeah. I'm, maybe there's a lyric in there, though. I'll listen to it and let you know. Um, Friday, the new High Fidelity <clears throat> on Hulu comes out as well, which you can watch now, Casey. You can watch High Fidelity on Hulu. Oh, yeah. That's the one with Zoe Kravitz, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the first show I'm watching. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, homie, what do you think about Zoe Kravitz? Conversation. Um, Friday also dreams um comes out on Tuesday for us. Like we talked about earlier, if you're if you're part of the beta, you can play it on Tuesday. If not, Friday. Also, Friday, Dark Siders Genesis is finally out on consoles. It's been out on Stadia and PC for a while now, but now it's on console. Um, on Friday, Sonic the Hedgehog is in theaters. Where I I think I want to see it, dude. Early reviews are coming in, and people are saying that movie's fun as hell. So. I think I want to see it. I might, I might by the by the next week when we're doing this podcast, I might have seen this movie already. So we'll see. Um, Sunday. I can't. I honestly, I can't. I, if, I'm not sure any of this I, is true. I don't know. If I can't is, look into the into the chat anymore. I don't know. Do you see the? the oh, oh yeah, the last that. two messages that G Homie sent were yes and no, and I don't know what yeah. they were pertaining to. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if the Sunday that I have on here is correct. Duncanville, I thought I just want started to pay attention tonight. To it so much more than I. I, I, I... <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if Duncanville starts tonight or if that was next Sunday. Last week with John Oliver, that's either this week or next week. I don't know, yeah, dude. I think it's I think it's this week, but is it this uh, week? I think so. I hope so because I'm I'm stoked for it. Yeah, it's either tonight. I think I fucked up the notes at some point, and it was either this week or next Sunday. I don't know, but either way, this Sunday. Um, as always, if you enjoyed listening to us banter back and forth, please consider subscribing, supporting us on Patreon, and following us on social media. Head on over to www.rosemary.media for the links to do all of those things. Casey, any last words? <laughs> no, 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 no. No last words here. So about Just, Dunkaroos? Uh, nothing about Dunkaroos, you know? Mm. Dunk, 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 Dunkaroo. <laughs> Dunk, 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 Um, no, just you know the usual. Listen to corn if you haven't listened to corn, and uh, cry yourself to sleep. (laughs) Cry yourself to sleep. Exactly. (laughs) Cry yourself. Oh, and happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Since the next time we do this podcast, it'll be a thing of the past. Happy Valentine's Day. (laughs) <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed that new Frank Ocean album that surprise dropped on the day as well. Yeah, you wish, bud. It's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wish. It's coming. Everybody, yeah, have a have a great day. Look at us, we're in love in stores this Friday. Look at us, we're in love. <laughs> Frank Ocean. I hope to fucking God that's not the album name. It's the album name. It's coming this Friday. <laughs> Look at us, we're in love. Rather die. <laughs> <laughs> that's like honestly, on that's, that note happy that's valentine's the, day <laughs> that, that's the response to look at us we're in love my response is, look I'd at me die. i'd rather die <laughs> look at me i'd rather die <laughs> <laughs> and with that happy valentine's day <laughs>